Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jay Surya. I'm a study abroad advisor and a career coach. I've also graduated from an Ivy League university, so I have the personal experience of pursuing a master's. And I've helped thousands of students get into good quality universities across all rankings and different, different specializations. So upon popular demand by many of our followers, uh, I am doing this video on Masters in Business Analytics where we'll be exploring what the course is, what the curriculum is, what are the jobs like, why is business analytics still relevant in 2023 and is business analytics the right choice for you. So let's dive in. What is business analytics? Of late we have been hearing a lot of buzzwords such as data science, data analytics, uh, big data, artificial intelligence, and now business analytics, etc. The underlying purpose of all these streams is simple. How do you use data to improve things? Businesses around the world generate tons and tons of data on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, pure data scientists or data engineers or data analysts use this random data and they clean it meaning they compile the random data with random variables into a more structured format. Now, pure business analysts, on the other hand, take this structured data and convert them into reports and recommendations, you know, give it to managers in order to empower them to make day-to-day -day business decisions. Many industries rely heavily on business analyst professionals such as finance, insurance, retail, IT, etc. Professionals across these varied industries hold analytics focused uh, job roles such as business intelligence engineers, supply chain analysts, operations analysts, management analysts, etc. etc. According to US Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is one of the most reliable data sources, business analysts across all the professions that we have discussed just now earn anywhere between $70,000 to $170,000 per annum based on the experience. On an average, with a master's degree right after graduation, you can earn anywhere between 90,000 to 100,000 US dollars. Now, as you progress in your career, as you gain more experience and as you get promoted to senior roles such as program manager, project manager, product manager roles, your salary will be much, much higher based on your interest and the skills you want to gain. Top five states in the USA where companies hire a high number of business analyst professionals are California, Virginia, New York, Florida and Illinois. Now that we understood the job market for business analysts in the USA, let's move to the critical segment, which is, is the business analytics degree the right choice for you? We have guided hundreds of students from varied backgrounds to a master's in business analytics program. We have helped engineering graduates, we have helped BBA three-year or four-year program graduates, we have helped bachelors in sciences people, bachelors in commerce, bachelors in finance, and even bachelors in journalism. This means people from varied academic backgrounds are eligible to apply for a master's in business analytics. One major relief is that for an MS in business analytics program, you are not expected to have any coding background, unlike let's say an MS in data science or data analytics. The MS program itself will teach you coding right from the basics. So people with any academic background without, with or without coding skills can apply for a business analytics degree. However, to know whether this degree will be a right fit for you, let's quickly look at the business analytics curriculum. The MSBA curriculum is a mix of mathematics, coding, and business. You pursue core courses such as probability and statistics, linear regression, programming in Python or R, which are taught from the basics. Uh, you also pursue courses in data visualization and many business fundamental courses. This means that you should enjoy mathematics and coding, but not to a very deep extent like computer science or data science degrees. You should also be passionate about analyzing data and giving recommendations based on it. Now let's look at some universities that are offering MSBA curriculum across the tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 categories. 
I should tell you that a lot of universities are currently offering MSBA courses and we have guided many students to all of these universities. So no matter what your profile is, what your um, you know economic background is, etc., there will definitely be a university for you to pursue MSBA. In tier 1 universities, we have the Carnegie Mellon University, New York University, Cornell, Columbia and University of Texas Austin, etc. In tier 2, we have the University of Connecticut, Arizona State University, University of Cincinnati, etc. In tier 3, we have CSU East Bay, CSU Fullerton, Texas A&M University Commerce, University of Texas Arlington, Bowling Green State University, etc. Not only did we help students get into the top universities, but we also help students who are targeting moderate universities. Uh, students, those who are targeting universities with low costs and low living expenses, targeting universities with good funding opportunities, etc. Now, my final verdict about whether you should choose business analytics or not is, if you're someone with zero to five years of work experience who loves analytical thinking and uh, who wants to get into the IT industry for good salaries, then business analytics will be a great path for you, no doubt. However, the competition for business analytics job roles in the US and across the world is increasing year on year as more and more students are choosing this particular path. So unless you differentiate yourselves, unless you gain deep skills in uh, business analytics, you won't be able to stand out from the competition. So keep that in mind. Another important thing you need to keep in mind is the increase in salary for business analysts will be not as high as let's say a software developer or a data scientist. However, if you are willing to progress your career by transitioning to roles such as project manager or product manager or management consultant, then your salaries will be high. So that's everything you need to know before you choose to pursue an MS in Business Analytics. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions regarding the course, curriculum, universities, etc., you can comment below and I'll get back to you at the earliest. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel because I feel this information will be helpful for a lot of master's aspirants out there. And last thing is that if at all you're interested in applying for business analytics courses or any specializations, that is, um, you know, it could be computer science, it could be data science, biology, finance, etc. Whatever specialization you're targeting, you can reach out to us because we have helped a lot of students choose specializations, choose universities and help them throughout the application process. So do get in touch with us. You can see our contact details below. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.